All right, everybody. Today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different for you guys. Um, I typically do these walkthrough videos on the finished product, but I wanted to switch it up today and uh, take you through a green briar um, that has just been set in the last week. On this exterior, the first thing I would point out, and you can probably notice it right off the, off the bat, but this is a variation of a green briar three. So what that means is that typically um, if you refer back to my original, my first YouTube video of the Greenbrier one on our lot, um, our lot model has the wraparound porch that goes all the way across and then wraps back around on the side, kind of like this area over here. As you can see on this particular house, the wraparound porch ends there and we absorb that space to create what could be a fourth bedroom or a den or another living space. It's, it's really flex space, but our lot model at the store has the full wraparound porch. This house does not, obviously, and they're gonna use that as, it looks like a den, I'm actually not sure, but um, one big difference here on the exterior. So I'm gonna walk you around to the back of the home. Now remember the green briar, any form of the green briar is a three piece home. So this is a factory front porch. We did not build this front porch on site. It was a part of the plan. Okay. Now this house has a rear loading utility room and we are doing a 24 by 24 garage off of that utility room. So this customer will pull in to the driveway here, come up and around to this two car garage. That would be accessed directly off of that utility room door there. Here's the side of the home, two level obviously. 24 by 24 garage going here. Now when I hop in here, I'm gonna go to the front before I start talking and uh, kind of start from the front instead of the back. Yeah, like I said, I typically post the finished product, but I thought this might help somebody or help some different people seeing the kind of beginning phases. So obviously just like our lot model, this customer went with the double door, French door. Take you outside too. So here's that French front door. Like I say, or like I said, typically on the green bar one, this porch extends all the way down and comes across. This customer absorbed that porch and created a bigger fourth bedroom or a den there. And there's the right side. That is your master bedroom there, which I will get to. They have the can lights out here on the porch, which will come in handy. Great front porch. All your windows are gonna have screens already in them. They did the six over six grid pattern with the upgraded west window package. All right, so I'm back in this main living space. Nothing has changed drastically out here in the main space from our Greenbrier lot model. Um, two things I noticed were that this customer added the gas fireplace. This is actually the shiplap fireplace, but we're gonna do the shiplap on site, but one side's already got it there. So it'll be like uh, the shiplap fireplace we show in our Sparta lot model video I uploaded recently. Now, typically in this living room, you have a cased opening there and a cased opening here. This customer obviously did away with the cased opening there, 
just to create, you know, have more space over there or whatever. Um, it's definitely something you can do. Let's start out with this left wing of the home. Bath two, not much changed from the first Greenbrier video I posted. Only difference is uh, on that video, you'll see a transom there. This customer did not add a transom. Got the new up, uh, the new standard interior sinks in this one. They went with the lighted mirrors that you see in my Logan video, the red Logan video. This outline there lights up. They're really pretty. Anyways, back to this. Um, you got your two bedrooms here, pretty much like we show on our lot model with the sliding closet doors, you know. Now again, this, this home was just set last week, so obviously we have a lot of work to do. Um, but none of this stuff is, you know, like, like that right there, that is completely normal. Um, just a little sheetrock mud, take care of that. Storage closet there, bedroom here as well. I guess they're not using that as a bedroom because I don't see a closet. So I'm not sure exactly what this is on paper. I guess a study, but obviously it could be a bedroom with a closet if you wanted to. All right, so I wanted to show you, this is probably the most important thing about this video because I get asked this a lot. So like I said, on the first Greenbrier video, uh, Greenbrier video I posted on my YouTube channel, which is our lot model, we show this room here as the office with the wraparound porch going around. I get asked all the time, can this be blown out and made into a bigger room? Well, here it is. It is a big room. You're probably looking at probably around an 18 by 13 or 13 by 18. It would be a huge fourth bedroom or you know another den. Another storage closet there that I can't get to right now. Going back out to the main space. Um, over here, they, you know, not a whole lot has changed from our lot model. They went with the beautiful um, double window over the sink with the half circle type transom there, which is beautiful. White cabinets, we're gonna be doing the countertops here on site as well as the sink, which tells me they did granite or quartz countertops. Again, this is pretty much the way it's gonna show up. I mean, we have really done nothing at this point. Um, Now, since this customer is doing a garage, this water heater will be in the garage. In our lot model, it was in that closet there. Um, and I always tell people, you know, if you're gonna do a garage or go to a tankless hot water heater, the closet under the steps is gonna turn into a pantry closet, which is really nice. Okay. Utility room, pretty much like the way we show it in our lot model. They did the hat rack, cubby bench type thing here. We got um, washer and dryer hook up here, whole house water shut off. And then we got the fire rated door because this is going to be the door that accesses the garage. So any exterior door leading to a garage has to be fire rated door, which that's what it is. Um, Wanted to point out too, you hear me talking a lot about the two, two module, three module. Well, basically there's a module, there's a module. So I am standing in two different modules right now. And that is showing you, we call these mate line walls, you know, because this is where, you know, the two modules meet. So you got one module, two modules, and then you'll see the same thing happening here. And this would be your third module to include this front porch. So module here, all the way to the porch, second unit here, all the way to there, and then the third unit there. 
All right. There's the fridge. Back to the front door. So you walk in the front door and you take a right. You have another storage closet there. Gray space. Nice little buffer area so you're not walking right into the bed. To the bed, or this is the bedroom, but you have the buffer area. Buffer area so you're not just staring at the bed as soon as you walk in. His and her closets. Okay. And then just a huge bedroom. I think our lot model is shown with a double window there. I always tell people, you know, it'd be a good idea to split them single, single, and then slide the bed right in there. I imagine that's what this customer's doing. Really good idea there. And I'm going to, you know, obviously do another video when this house is completed. But this is pretty much how it's going to come. All your vinyls, all your trims, all your crown molding, everything we're going to do on site is pretty much shipped, ready to go in the house. Let me get in here. Pretty much the way we show our lot model again. Lighted mirrors, standard interior sinks, the 4 by 8 shower. Now our lot model has the transom there. Obviously that would be looking into the garage. You wouldn't have much of a view or natural light. So we move the transom to the gable end. So you still have that natural light coming in. Same shower tile as the Sparta lot model that I posted recently, the Carolina Sparta. And then your water closet. Back to the master bedroom. Now I'm going to take you upstairs. Back to the main space. So traditionally, opening there, opening there, they close that off. One opening just, just there, gas fireplace. And remember how I talked to you about blowing that office out and absorbing the porch. Three big things. All right, now I'm going to go upstairs. Obviously, you've seen these upstairs before. They are massive. They are huge. Got a lot of work to do. Pretty raw up here right now, but... Just want to give you an idea. All right, I'm going back down. It's hot up here. All right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, typically posting finished product videos but i thought this might be helpful to the right person again this is a variation of the green green briar main point is you know you can blow that office out to gain a fourth bedroom or another den on the bottom floor i've pointed out a few minor changes that this customer made including the pantry um including the gas fireplace obviously other than that, you know, fairly similar to our lot model in the video I posted a while back, but I'm just trying to keep the content coming for you guys. So give me your feedback. Let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this or do you prefer the finished product? Um, if you have any questions, give us a call at 336-226-9066. Again, this is Shields with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. Uh, YouTube channel is Carolina Custom Homes with Shields. Email is Shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at N-C Custom Modulars with an S dot com. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.